So today is the fifth anniversary uh, for Improv Everywhere. It is uh, to the day and almost to the hour, exactly five years since Ben Folds' Last Night in Town, part two. Uh, the mission, the, it was actually the second night we did it, but uh, it was the craziest night and I consider it to be the start of Improv Everywhere. Uh, where we went into uh, a bar and I pretended to be Ben Folds for about three hours and we went in about 12.30 a.m. and it's about 12.30 at night here and uh, if you've read that mission before on my website you know that I ended up talking to a couple of girls from Los Angeles for most of those three hours and we, I had a really good time with them and they were very excited to meet me they weren't fans of me so they didn't know what I looked like but they knew that Ben Folds was an important guy uh, at the end of the night uh, Kristen gave me her phone number um, it says Kristen, it says LA, I'm blurring her number on purpose so you don't call it. Um, but uh, and I told her that if Ben Foltz was ever in Los Angeles on tour I would give her a call. Uh, and I haven't, I've never called her and to my knowledge she knows nothing about Improv Everywhere or that it was a prank. My guess is that she went on the internet the next day and realized well this has got to be a prank, this guy doesn't look like Ben Foltz, you know, if she just did a Google image search or whatever. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe she still believes it. Um, but uh, we're about to find out. I'm going to call her and pretend to be Ben. And if I feel like she knows it's a prank, then I'm just going to be honest with her and, and thank her and apologize for, I guess, essentially lying to her. So I have to put on this uh, stupid looking headset so we can record uh, an MP3. Um, so I'm going to give her a call. The PCS telephone number you dialed is temporarily not in service. Message 5973. Well, uh, we thought that might happen. Uh, we thought that <laughs> we thought that we, we might set up this camera and uh, and prepare for this. I've been nervous about this all day and that she might have changed her phone number. I have the same number that I had five years ago, but uh, apparently uh, Kristen does it not, or maybe, maybe you didn't pay your bill, Kristen, I don't know.